the idea of holding referendums on whether Northern Ireland should stay in the UK and a second referendum on Scottish independence has widespread support among voters in England, Scotland and Wales, a new poll suggests. Here's a summary of the article. The idea of holding referendums on whether Northern Ireland should stay in the UK and a second referendum on Scottish independence has widespread support among voters in England, Scotland and Wales, a new poll suggests. When don't knows are removed the split is 60% in support of a referendum and 40% against, according to the poll of 1,504 people. On the issue of the Northern Ireland border, more than half of those polled support the idea of a vote after Brexit to let the country decide whether to stay in the UK or join Ireland. The poll found that 52% supported a border referendum while 19% were against it. SNP Westminster leader Ian Blackford welcomed the results of the poll for Scotland. Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon has already said she wants to have another vote on leaving the UK in the second half of 2020. While Prime Minister Boris Johnson has stated his opposition to a second vote on Scotland leaving the UK, the SNP leader said it now seems inevitable that there will be an early UK general election. This post received a score of 32,788, with an upvote ratio of 91%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Seems like the UK is about to spend the next five to ten years on referendums, political power struggles, and messy exits. It feels like it's already been ten years. It's embarrassing and boring now, an absolute shit show. I personally feel like it's getting more exciting, we're getting closer to deadline and now Prime Minister is in legal trouble and has no majority. I have no idea what's gonna happen next. I hope the writers go full soap and someone either gets amnesia or finds out they have an evil twin. I feel like all of the UK is about to claim amnesia and just say they don't know anything about this Brexit and will talk about it when they get their collective memories back. Is there a party putting this forward? I would vote for John Doe, leader of the BAP British Amnesia Party, in a heartbeat. They actually won a landslide in the last election but everybody forgot it happened. Forgot what happened. Imagine if Cameron wanting to get some people to like him three years ago, ends with the dissolution of the United Kingdom. He would be by definition the worst prime minister ever, since he couldn't even keep the union together and that's the first requirement that even the worst prime ministers have managed to do. Greater than worst prime minister ever. Boris Johnson, hold my tea. Nah man. Cameron still wins. You wouldn't have Boris Johnson as a PM if not for Cameron shitting himself. Well, this was part of the Good Friday Agreement. The GFA doesn't say Scotland, England, or Wales get to vote on Irish unification. Only ni. Meaning if ni want to stay, they stay, if they want to leave, they leave. Only they matter. The way it should be. So say we all. I bet you Boris is a fracking Cylon. Alexander Boris de Feffel Johnson does not strike me as a Cylon name, but Maybach probably was. We witnessed the first time when an unskilled worker replaced a robot. It would be stunning to see the UK dissolve over something as stupid as Brexit. Absolute scenes if Brexit causes a breakup of the UK then all the constituent countries hold referenda to stay in the EU anyway. Seems like the most likely outcome at this rate. Absolutely nuts. In 2016 Sir John Major warned that voting to leave the EU would split up the Union and have a huge impact on the Good Friday Agreement. Everyone said he was scaremongering. Edit, I did mistakenly put 2017 but Major said this prior to referendum alongside Tony Blair. 2017 was after the vote. By 2017 everybody already knew this. Greater than on the issue of the Northern Ireland border, more than half of those polled support the idea of a vote after Brexit to let the country decide whether to stay in the UK or join Ireland. Why are they polling people on whether an Ireland should leave after Brexit, rather than before? This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.